Welcome to this course on multi-degree of freedom structural dynamics and earthquake response simulation in Python. This course focuses on equipping you with the knowledge and tools to analyze complex structural dynamic behavior. Earthquake induced dynamic loading is just one load case. With what you learn in this course, you'll be able to analyze the response of multi-degree of freedom structures to any form of dynamic loading. By the time you finish this course, you'll have mastered some of the most important concepts in multi-degree of freedom structural dynamics. And in particular, you'll understand the power and versatility of modal analysis. I'm Dr. Sean Carroll. I'm a chartered engineer, a senior lecturer in structural engineering, and I'm the founder and lead tutor at DegreeTutors.com. I've taught thousands of students and engineers how to analyze structural behavior and how to leverage Python in their everyday engineering workflows. Now, most engineers have a really good understanding of, in particular, single degree of freedom structural dynamics, but to really grapple with real world, realistic structural dynamics problems, you really have to have a good understanding of the tools and techniques that can be used with multi-degree of freedom systems. And in particular, you need a good understanding of modal analysis and the modal superposition technique. Now in this course, we're going to spend plenty of time focusing on the underlying theory to make sure you really understand it. But we're going to place equal emphasis on implementing what we learn in Python. You're also going to learn how to perform dynamic analysis when modal superposition is not an option, for example, when nonlinear structural behavior is expected. So throughout this course, we're going to build two parallel solution strategies, one applicable to linear structural behavior and one applicable to nonlinear structural behavior. So by the time you complete this course, you're going to have a collection of tools that you can deploy on your own projects and you'll know enough about these tools to quite comfortably expand them and tailor them to the specifics of your particular project. We're going to be using Python in the Jupyter Notebook development environment. Now, like any Degree Tutors course that uses Python, you don't need to come to this course knowing how to program in Python. You're going to pick up pretty much what you need as we move through the course. This course is ideally suited to students or practicing engineers who either have a good understanding of single degree of freedom structural dynamics or who have taken my course on the fundamentals of structural dynamics. Now, if you've got that background knowledge and you want to expand your abilities to be able to analyze more complex dynamic behavior, multi-degree of freedom structures, well, then you should enroll in this course. So if that sounds like something that you'd enjoy working through and get some value from, enroll in the course and I'll see you on the inside.